Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing how I do a fill on full coverage gel tip extension nails. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so currently on my nails I have super grown out full coverage gel tips. These ones are the gel tips from Double Dip and they are some of my favorites. And as you can see there is some lifting near the cuticle area and they're just really old and need a little bit of freshening up. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do in today's video. So the first step is to clip off any visible lifting. This can be a little bit difficult sometimes, but I just like to take a cuticle nipper and sort of wedge it under any of the pieces that are lifted up. You don't want to specifically pull up any parts of the nail. You only want to clip off the pieces that are already lifted off of the nail. And then here I'm going to be using my McCart nail drill with the metal bit I showed on it. And I'm just going to be putting it on a relatively low speed. And I'm going to first of all file off that layer of old gel top coat. And then I'm going to super gently thin out the nail and go around the cuticle area to gently lift up any of that excess product and really thin it down. I noticed that when there's lifting with the drill, um, it sort of just flakes off and comes off super easily. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on your nail with the drill. You just want to let the bit do the work and gently go over the surface. This is mainly just to thin out the nails like I said before. So when we apply the new product, the nails aren't super bulky. So I'm just going to continue doing that on all of my nails and be super gentle of my natural nail and the technique that I'm using. And this technique can also be done with a hand file, I do want to note. It will just take a lot more time. So here's a look at the nails all filed with all of the previous lifting removed. And then I'm going to be taking a metal cuticle pusher right here to just gently push back my cuticles and remove any of that dead skin. This is really important when you are doing a new application or a fill um, because you don't want the product to lift again and this is how you will get the longest wear out of your product. So I'm being super gentle with this tool and I'm just scraping off any of that dried and dead skin while pushing back the cuticle area. Then once the cuticles are pushed back, I'm going to be changing out the bit in my drill. I'm going to be putting in a sanding band, which is sort of just like a nail buffer. And I'm going to be using this on a super low speed to gently buff off any of that dead cuticle and also slightly scratch up the surface of my natural nail so that the new product will adhere properly and last as long as possible. Now you want to be super gentle with this as well and not dig it into the natural nail. And this is just going to, like I said, be a super gentle process. And you can use a normal hand buffer if you'd like, but since I had my drill already out, I figured I would just use the drill for that step as well. And here's a look at the fully prepped nails. So now I'm just taking a nail file and I'm going to freshen up the shape. I find that when my nails grow out and have been on for a couple of weeks, the shape sort of dulls down and I just want to sharpen up those edges, so that's what I'm going to do here. You can also take off any length at this point, um, sort of just shape them up to your personal liking. I like to go along the free edge first and then along the side walls. And after all of the filing and everything like that, I go ahead and wash my hands to remove any excess dust and now my nails are ready for the reapplication process. So the first step is to use a nail dehydrator. This one is prep from Red Carpet Manicure and this is just going to take any of the oils off of that natural nail surface and make it ready for the new product. And I'm going to be going in with a primer as well. And this is just going to help the gel adhere as best as possible and add another layer of grip for the product. 
here I'm going to be using a um, soak off base gel. This one is from Madame Glam and I'm going to be applying this only to the natural nail area. This is a step I like to do when I'm doing a fill with gel just because gel adheres best over a gel base coat and since my natural nails are now exposed where the old product came off, I want that adhesion to be as best as possible. So you really don't need to apply this to the fake nail part just because um, the dip powder or gel polish will already adhere nicely to that. You only need to do it on the natural nail area. And then once the layer of gel base is fully on, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. And here is the gel product I'm going to be using to do the fill. This is a soak off rubber base from Madame Glam in the shade Indonesia. And this is just like a thicker gel product. And I find the technique that I like to do is place a larger bead of the product at the cuticle area and then slowly thin it out towards the tip and middle of the nail. Um, we already have a decent structure from the full coverage gel tips, so I don't really need to build an apex or anything like that. I mainly just need to fill in the gap where the new product is going in the cuticle area. So I'm going to slowly take my time here and make it as best as possible. Um, it does not need to be perfect because we will be doing some filing later. I just want to get as even of an application as possible. And once I'm happy with the application of new product, I'm going to go ahead and cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to be taking some rubbing alcohol on a lint-free wipe just to cleanse off the tacky layer from the nail surface before I go ahead and hit the nails with my nail file. Now for this step, I am using a hand file to file and shape the nails. Um, since the shape was already pretty perfect, I didn't need to go in with my e-file which would remove too much product, so I'm just being super gentle with my hand file. And there I was just showing you the motions that I do. I like to go along the fridge and sidewalls, along the cuticle area, and then over the surface of my entire nail. And here are the nails fully filed. And once the nails are fully filed, I can go in with a layer of my Madame Glam Soak Off Gel Top Coat. This is just going to add a beautiful shine to the surface of the extensions and really seal in all of the product underneath. So I'm applying a nice thin layer, making sure to wrap the free edge, and then I will be curing for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Coat Oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create doing a fill on my previous nail extensions. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed the finished result. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.